In the evolutionary model, modern plants haven't always existed. There haven't always been oak trees or roses or grass, etc. Long before complex modern plants existed, the evolutionary model poses that there were simple plants which gradually changed over time. In contrast, the creationist model claims that all modern kinds of plant have always existed. Some even go as far to claim that all modern kinds of plants are older than all of the stars in the universe. This should be easy to test, because then when one finds rocks from the Precambrian era, or rocks from the Ordovician period, or rocks from the Silurian, or the Triassic, etc., every single modern kind of plant could be find, found as a fossil. So there have always been oak trees, and hickories, and chestnuts, and walnuts, and birches, etc. There have always been grasses, and mints, and roses, etc. Plants are not hard to find today, especially the flowering plants, which have hundreds of thousands of species. And so therefore, if all modern plants have always existed, this should be an easy hypothesis to test. There is not a single fossil of a reptile known from the Precambrian era, nor from the Cambrian, Silurian, Ordovician, or Devonian periods. So the vast majority of Earth's history passed without a single reptile. While the first reptiles uh, evolved in the Carboniferous period, there are no fossils of modern reptiles known from that period. By the ven very end of the Permian period, there are fossils of primitive lizard known, but no modern kinds of lizard. All of the other groups of reptiles, the turtles, the crocodiles, and the snakes, are first known from the Mesozoic era, a hundred million years after the first reptiles evolved. Even when turtles or crocodiles or snakes are known, uh, millions of years pass before any modern groups of turtle, crocodile, and snakes are found in the fossil record.